Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. I do a lot of tests with these, and I've got one that's kind of fun. What happens if you have a ram pump with a drive pipe that siphons up and over out of the source? <laughs> I actually tested this before, and we had some really mixed results. So I want to do this again with maybe a little bit better testing ground. So here's what I've got a half inch ram pump with 40 foot of drive pipe and it is right at three feet of head pressure so the bucket here has a foot of hydrostatic pressure and then about two feet of drop after that and there is a float valve in the bucket so it will always keep this bucket at a consistent water level so the water will come down here first in the first test snake along here and it will activate the waste valve. And we will go up top where I've got this garden hose and take a measurement of flow. Uh, basically, you see how much time it takes to get about a, a cup and a half. So turn that on and it will start cycling. I've already got everything primed up and ready to go for this initial test. So let's go up here real quick and I'll show you. Uh, the height here, I haven't measured it. It's about eight foot or so, maybe nine foot above the pump. And it's just a garden hose. And here is the output. So let's go ahead and start a timer and see how long it takes to fill a cup and a half. Okay, I want this test to be as consistent as possible. So I'm gonna lift the hose up, wait for it to start flowing again. And then I just set it over in here. All right, there's the full flow rate. You ready? Fifty two seconds is our time. Okay, everything's the same except for there's now a gravity chair with this much more lift above here. So if I were to get down on this level with the bucket, about right there, you can see this is up at least a foot more than the bucket. So the concept is, what happens if water comes out of the bucket, goes up here, and then siphons down more head pressure than was originally there? So we'll see if now we get a higher flow rate up in our container or not. Now there's probably gonna be some loss because of bounce in here, and I might be able to put something on this pipe to keep that from happening, but let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it will run. Certainly running. Let's look at our bounce situation. Definitely some movement in there. All right, let's go up here and see if there's a difference. Okay, let me restart my watch here. Lift this back up to the point where it's gonna flow. So 52 seconds is the time to beat. All right, we ready? Yeah, 51 seconds. Okay, that's actually the results I was anticipating the last time we ran this test. And what happened in that test was there was a crack in one of the components and I think it was letting out pressure. And uh, whenever I did the second test, it was um, without that piece and so we had more pressure. So basically, the amount of drop you have is still from the bucket. All of this right here has, the water has to climb up and it loses potential. And then it goes back down and gains it until it's net zero pretty much back to the pump. So I hope I'm saying all that correct, but basically the test that we ran before was just a fluke. Um, the flow rate here seems to be the same. And uh, there may be some loss even in all of this bounce, but I think it's gonna be minimal considering we had the exact same time for the same volume of water pumped.
Anyway, if you have some fun ram pump tests, kind of like this one, write those in the comments down below. I would love to look at those and possibly set up a test like this and answer those questions for you. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.